this is the general. Hunter does it assassins himself on the 16. And he is keeping It's crazy what it takes to come here to try to be a factor, to try to be a team that can win the race. The truth is, I mean, we were second last year and we put a ton of effort into it, but we decided we need 10% more effort from everybody on the team to go from second place to first place. Leading up to the race, I mean, it's weeks of hard work, testing, pre-running, light setup, making sure that the truck's ready to go. Just the prep effort alone, just to get all those vehicles here, I mean, it takes all year to make the Baja 1000 come together. Right now we're in Ensenada, we're on the Malacan or the main street in the middle of town. You can see the chaos of race trucks beyond me. This is contingency where we go through where all the sponsors and the fans are all set up, checking everything out. Well here, people from all over the world are coming here to see this event. The hotels are full, the restaurants are full, the activity here is just like a fiesta. It's exciting and I think this is the greatest place in the world to put this kind of event on. Justin Morgan out of Marietta, California. Your current point speed is three wins in a row, but so they're going for that one play. But as we mentioned again, uh, Mark was on that point. The bikes are going to start at four in the morning, which sounds a little crazy, but that gives them a full day of racing. Uh, just a lot of respect to those guys. I think it's just going to be a tough 1,000 for everybody. So take off at 4 a.m. this morning in about 10 minutes here, and the trucks take off around 9 or 10. Pretty crazy right now, so it'll be really good. After years of preparation and a full year of planning for this Spa 1000, we're finally to the green flag, right? Just a couple minutes and we'll be racing. We'll jump in the car right now and just calm, ready. Starting 12th today, it's gonna be a tough race. It's a long day. Uh, got two great drivers, Cameron and Pat. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna go to 380. Uh, Cameron and myself will get out. Pat Dean will get in, go up to 635, and then Cameron and myself will get back in and go to the finish line. When it's go time, I mean, it's really a quiet moment. When the visor shuts and it's time to go, you don't even hear the truck running. It's kind of that empty moment where there's nothing left to do but race. the Baja 1000 varies. This year happens to be 806 miles. It's a loop race on the northern part of the peninsula. And I think there's a lot of tough race teams that have really been working hard to, to be ready for all the bumps and the chaos the track's gonna throw at us. What I think is cool about the Monster Energy team is that the people at Monster are passionate about off-road. I mean, just look at the team they put together. Casey Curry and Cody Curry, I mean, they're legitimate builders, people that have a huge heart in this and have been racing so many different things for all these years. The Herbs family, Eddie, Tim, and Troy, those guys have won a ton of races. They represent the peninsula well, and they're just, they're passionate about off-road. And then there's, of course, my teammate, BJ Baldwin, AKA Ballistic. I mean, I love ball. I love the people down here more than anything. I love the fans, they're so passionate. They love the trucks, so I'll be out in the middle of nowhere and there'll be five or 6,000 people lined up for 10 miles. You know, some of my other teammates, I think uh, hugely impressive, uh, Mark Samuels and his team. They've been dominating this season, and when you look at what he and Justin Morgan have been able to accomplish so far, it's staggering. Ball 1000 is a completely different concept of racing. It's not about trying to be the fastest in this section or that section or the entire time. It's, you know, it's a marathon. You've got to strategize in certain areas and, you know, control the race even when you get a lead. Pit 2, if you copy, 16 races, less than 10 minutes out. Copy that, 375. 
380. This is mile marker 380, Chapala. We're gonna do a driver and co-rider change. Uh, me and my co-rider Shane Robinson will, will take it on to 635. And it's going real well so far. We're in about sixth or seventh place. We're having a little bit of uh, transmission issue, but he's driving through it. So uh, hopefully keep up the camera's momentum. Okay, we're getting the speed up. Uh, Highway. All right, you're up. All right. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're pretty amped. We're uh, six on the road right now. We're just about five minutes out of corrected time from the lead, so we're stoked. We had to battle some dust to get here, and uh, it was a little bit tough, but overall, the truck is absolutely perfect. The only drama we have is no first in reverse, so um, the passenger's gotta be careful what he drives it into. Yeah, riding at night is, it's pretty difficult actually because you have an anticipation how fast you can go, but really it's a, it's a completely different world at night. Every time I go down there, it's something different. The race is different, the terrain is different. I know that within five or the six hours of racing, I'll have over a year's worth of stories. It's so wild and unpredictable. 7X is in the front, it's about 15 miles from the finish line. That's the first bike on the road. Best news ever, thank you. We're at the finish line in Sonata, and we're about 20 miles out. Justin Morgan is just kind of cruising it in, and he's getting pretty close, so hopefully uh, we have another win in the fall 1000. Oh, there he is. Four year in a row, taking that championship between his whole team. Nine overall Baja win. You guys got the champagne, the overall unofficial win here in the score Baja 1000 and the overall championship. Let's have one big round of applause for this 7X factory on the Mark Energy Fly Racing Team of Justin Morgan, Mark Samuel. Current race situation, we are setting at race mile 634. And uh, we are third on the road, second on corrected time, allegedly. Not totally sure about that. So hoping for big things, but trying to keep the head smooth and on plan. He's at 627 right now at 60 miles an hour. So eight miles out. Hey, yeah, wave him in. We have a board. 16 race, copy once you get on the highway to the method raptor, do not go past it. I just got out of the truck, camera still back in the truck. Everything is going great. Uh, we're third on the road, 16 minutes physical from the leader, which means we're five minutes down. So uh, with 200 some miles to go, we're in the game. This is uh, Weatherman Relay. It looks like number six has stopped uh, a little after 7.50 and 11 just went by. And 16 is coming up fast. For the trophy trucks, the time projections look like most of our race is going to be in the dark. And, you know, everybody's projecting that 16 and a half, 17 hour time frame. I think racing at night is maybe less dangerous because if there's something moving, usually you can see it in the lights or they have lights. I think that sometimes the shadows trick people, but when you race at night, your focus really zeroes in on where you're going. Nice 
Mac is pulling into the finish line. 16 is not that far back. We'll see how it ends up. The Ball 1000 is a race on corrected time, so you don't have to physically finish first, and there's also penalties and all kinds of other stuff that can happen. And uh, the way it's going to work out is it's elapsed time, penalties, that's how we're going to end up winning the race if it becomes official, and it is what it is. the general of the Desert Assassins himself, number 16, physically second across the line. Congratulations to you and the whole team. Right now, unofficially first place in the 51st running of the score, Baja 1000. Let's hear it one more time for the general of the Desert Assassins, number 16, Cameron Steele the team. To win the Baja 1000 is the greatest accomplishment in our racing career for the Desert Assassins and just much love to the entire team.